Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating Alia Bhatt's 10 minute makeup look. I'm sure you guys have already watched Alia Bhatt's makeup routine. It came out a few months ago and I know I'm pretty late to recreate this makeup look but better late than never. I don't know why I never watched that entire makeup routine before. Um, I very recently watched the entire video and I really felt like I should recreate this. And I've always loved creating Alia Bhatt's makeup look. I love the way her makeup artist does her makeup and I love the way that she also did her makeup. Also, she has very clear skin. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can achieve a similar look on pigmented and dusky skin. So if you guys still haven't subscribed to my channel, then please make sure that you guys hit that red subscribe button and click the bell icon besides it to get notified whenever I upload a new video and now let's get right into the video. I'm gonna start the look with a sunscreen. I know Alia Bhatt didn't use sunscreen at the beginning of her makeup look but I've watched her skincare routine the very recent one that was posted and she uses the right amount of sunscreen for her face which is two fingers. I have already moisturized my skin and the last step of my skincare routine is a sunscreen. No matter what the weather is, what your age is, what your gender is you need a sunscreen a sunscreen is very very important I have the Jovi's herbal sun guard sunscreen which has SPF 60 PA++ it has a lightweight moisturizing formula which leaves zero white cast make sure that you're applying two fingers worth of sunscreen which is the right amount of sunscreen this is how much sunscreen you should use to protect your skin from the harmful UV rays also don't forget to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day I personally love this sunscreen because even though it says that it's a matte lotion, it doesn't leave my skin feeling very dry. I have extremely dry skin and sometimes these matte sunscreens make my skin extremely dry and just very dehydrated. But this one feels moisturizing. It has a moisturizing formula, but it leaves like a soft matte finish on your face. A sunscreen is really important if you have pigmentation on your face. It really helps with pigmentation, with aging because the harmful UV rays actually ages your skin much faster and a sunscreen actually does the job of reversing that effect so make sure that you're using your SPF daily even though you're indoors or outdoors you have to apply it and reapply it every single day it's also a paraben free formula and it's infused with argan oil extracts green tea calendula and chamomile along with other natural extracts to protect your skin from sun exposure it is also a water resistant formula and has some anti-inflammatory properties you can can get this product from Nykaa or from Jovi's website. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below so please don't forget to check it out. Now moving on to our makeup look. So Alia Bhatt actually does not apply foundation. It's her no foundation 10 minute makeup routine which is something that I love because I'm not really into foundation these days. I love using skin tints and tinted moisturizers. So she used a skin tint along with an illuminating primer. She mixed both of them, made a concoction and applied it on her face. Um, I never really mix both of them but I do follow both of these steps separately all the time whenever I do my makeup. So today we're gonna mix both of these. I'm using my tinted moisturizer. I'm just taking one pump of this moisturizer. This looks very natural. It's not at all heavy like a foundation and I'm mixing an illuminating primer along with it. I have very little amount left. This is like a strobing cream along with like some primer properties. So I'm going to mix them both. This is going to make our skin look extra juicy and hydrated. I'm going to dot this all over my face and Alia Bhatt used her fingers. So we're going to do the same. Honestly, I also use my fingers whenever I'm using this skin tint. Most of the times I use my fingers. She hardly used any brushes because um, she has used a lot of cream products. It's all blended and my skin looks so glowy and juicy. The next step is spot concealing. She applied concealer wherever it was needed. Um, which is again something that I like doing. I don't like making a triangle underneath my eyes. I think that is so last season. Um, everyone just likes spot concealing so i'm going to use a full coverage concealer underneath my eyes to cover my dark circles and a little bit over here on my acne mark and i'm going to blend it out using a concealer brush also applying some 
around my mouth just to even out my skin. The next step is cheek color. I have the same blush that she used but it's just a different shade and I think the whole point of the video is to do a sunburnt peachy look so I'm just gonna skip this blush and I'm gonna use a peach shade. It's a very very similar shade the kind of shade that she used on her cheeks and this is actually a tint but it can be used as a blush as well it looks really nice. So she made a C on her face which I am really scared to do. I think it's too much blush. Also the blush that she used was very very blendable. I've never used this like in this manner on my face so I don't know how it will blend out. But I'm gonna use very little product first and I'm gonna draw a C. This is the sunburnt blush look. not taking too much product on the brush i've removed all the excess product because i don't want to end up looking like a clown and i'm gonna start blending this with my fingers okay once blended out it doesn't really look that crazy i actually really like the look i never knew this kind of a blush look would look good on me alia also used some on her chin and a little bit over here i don't have any excess product left so i'm using it directly from the tube and let's blend it out Okay, I'm loving the blush. Next, moving on to contour. She used a contour stick and directly applied it on her face, which is not something that I like doing all the time, especially with this contour stick that I have. Um, I like using a brush, but just like Alia did, we are going to do the same. Her contour was quite low, which I don't usually do. I contour really high up here, uh, right below the cheekbone. But just like she did, I'm going to apply the product here. She also contoured her jawline which is again that I've stopped doing. I've stopped doing this step because I heard a makeup artist uh, saying, a MAC makeup artist saying that when you contour your jawline it actually looks very very unnatural because your skin color of your body and neck looks quite different than your face so it looks very unnatural and he never does that so i also stopped doing it and actually i feel like i don't really need that extra step the next step is powder she used a very um illuminating glowy powder for her under eyes i don't really have something like that but i have a compact powder which is good for dry skin i also love just powdering my under eyes and i leave the rest of the face just like that she used a brush to do that i'm not gonna do that because that's gonna completely move away the concealer i'm using a powder puff okay now moving on to eyes she used very peachy tones on her eyelids and i'm gonna use a mix of two eyeshadow palettes that i have these are the two eyeshadow palettes this one is not available in india right now but um you can just use a similar color from any other eyeshadow palette so first i'm gonna take this peachy shade i don't really have this kind of shade in any other eyeshadow palette so i'm using this one and i'm gonna do a wash of this color all over my eyelids i think peachy colors look the best on brown skin it looks very beachy and just very flattering on brown skin then i'm using a dusty pink color all over my eyelids then she used a light peach color on her lower lash line but i think a lighter shade than this one would not really show up on my skin so i'm gonna use the same peachy shade then i'm gonna use this kind of a skin bone kind of a color and i'm gonna apply it at the inner corners of the eye just to brighten up the eye a little bit she also used the same shade on her brow bone then i'm going to curl my lashes 
this is another step that I never ever skip and then for mascara I'm using a good lengthening and volumizing mascara by the way all the products that I'm using in the video will be mentioned in the description box below with links and shades so don't forget to check it out and I'm gonna coat my lashes with this she used a different mascara for her lower lashes but I'm not really doing that because I don't have a separate one for lower lashes next she is filling her eyebrows i think eyebrows are very personal everyone has a different shape a different style of doing their eyebrows so i'm gonna do what i am used to the most i'm using an eyebrow pen first to fill in some gaps and i'm gonna set my eyebrows using an eyebrow gel then she used a powder contour to set the cream one that she used first i never really do this step i never like over contour my face maybe it looks good on her because she has a very round face so i'm using this powder contour and just randomly applying this she's not being too specific she's just randomly like taking a large brush and just applying it all over her face also taking some on the nose for the sunburnt look the next step is highlighter and she first used a stick highlighter so this is a mini stick highlighter that i have which is pretty similar to the one that she was using so i'm just gonna directly apply this on my face i actually really love this one it gives a very natural kind of a glow on your skin and then she applied a liquid highlighter i have the same one i know it might look like a mixing of a lot of products on the face but let's be honest it's something that we all do when i also personally get ready i mix a lot of products even when it comes to lipsticks i mix too many lipsticks and lip liners and create a shade so this is something that just everyone does you just don't see it in aesthetic makeup tutorials but we all love mixing products at least i do to achieve a similar lip color that she used i think i'll have to mix two shades um one is a pinky nude shade and the other is like a warm brown color i think when i mix both of these it would kind of look like a pinky peachy color similar to the one that she applied so i'm using the nude one first just blending it with my finger and then using the brown peachy shade okay the shade turned out to be a little darker than the one that she used but i think this complements dusky skin tone the most the last step is a lip balm alia used a peptide lip balm after the lipstick um which i never really do i generally sometimes just use a lip liner and then i top it off with a lip balm but i never really apply lip balm over lipstick but um just like she did i don't have the same lip balm that she has but i do have another peptide lip balm and this is the final makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video please let me know your thoughts on the makeup look did you like it have you tried this makeup look yet i surprisingly ended up loving the makeup look i didn't really think i would like the blush situation but i think it looks really nice i love the lip combo that i created i'm definitely going to wear it more often and yes if you guys enjoyed watching today's video then please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon besides it to get notified whenever i upload a new video and i will see you guys in my next video bye